victim, Larry. All of a sudden, I heard this pop, and Brandon was standing. When I found out someone got shot, I knew automatically that it was Larry. Hi there, this is Nicholas Casamia, and I'm here with Marta Cunningham, the director of Valentine Road. Just to go back a little bit, Larry gave a Valentine's Day card to a fellow classmate. Well, he just said, actually. Um, just, he didn't oh, give a, anything, okay. but he did say that um, he wanted Brandon to be his Valentine. And this had a cataclysmic effect on Brandon, correct? It, from what it sounds like, what the kids have said is that um, he looked embarrassed. Mm -hmm. um, but in the court, it sounded like uh, really it was the next day he said something like, hi, that set Brandon off. So do you think so, if Larry King was a girl who had approached a boy to be his valentine? These are the questions I ask my audience. But I do feel that if we change gender around, if we change orientation, sexual orientation, are we gonna come up with the same answers? I told him, no one's gonna kill you for who you are. And that he was shot to death because of how he was. We're taking a 14 year old and making that snap decision. We're gonna charge it as an adult because we can. And one of the most disturbing things that is the sneak in the film is um, Brandon gets bullets from the bedroom he's staying in. What world do we live in that a 14-year-old has a room with bullets in it? I mean, accessible to him. I know, as a Canadian, that must sound insane. <laughs> it is, doesn't it? As an American, doesn't it sound insane? I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm a pacifist, so it's, it's, uh, it's not the world I grew up in. Um, but that's why, as you know, right now, there's a huge battle going on mm -hmm. in our country over the gun violence, mm -hmm. over ownership of uh, guns over background checks is I think the latest one, uh, which didn't pass. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as long as there's still, you know, people fighting, I think that that's good because what, what this film is, is meant to do is be a catalyst for the conversation, for dialogue, and if that's happening, terrific. The catalyst for the shooting was Larry, this young 15-year-old boy who was expressing his sexuality. It was actually more gender expression mm -hmm. yeah. and gender identity um, that I, I think was the confusing mm -hmm. aspect to the children and to the administration. He wanted to be called Letitia. He preferred feminine accessories. Uh, and so it looked like he was exploring his gender expression. Larry did not have a clue of the consequences of his actions. He was so lovable. Where was Brandon's civil rights? And no one gets taught how to go through something like that. He simply shouldn't have died.